Hey guys, I'm Jackie. In this video, I'm so delighted to introduce you an amazing product from Unifor. It's a solar powered wireless photoelectronic beam detector. Uh, now let's open the box to see what's inside. Now, let's take a close look on the product. Uh, here are uh, for the electric beam sensor, and the one is transmitter, and the another one is receiver. And so, we can take a close look at the product label. And uh, it's quite high end and quite beautiful. So, it's uh, great for uh, residential applications. Now the bracket, the mount, mount kit. So we place the uh, beam sensor on mount the beam sensor on the bracket, so we are able to install it quickly. Now open the box for the solar panels. So here is one solar panel, another solar panel, and now I have the whole thing on the ground solar panel a solar panel also has a connect so it can you can plug it to the receive to the for the electric beam sensors so this is the product and uh, we gonna open one of the detector to see the internal design So here is, uh, after I remove the cover, here is the uh, internal design. It has two optical lines, so it adopts dual beam inf active infrared detection technology. So it can accurately detect the moving objects, it can eliminate the false alarms which caused by the flying birds, uh, swaying tree branches or small animals. And as you can see, the product has uh, used waterproof design, so it can withstand rain, uh, sand, uh, dust, uh, wind, dew, frost, snow, so it can be suitable for both indoor and outdoor installation. Uh, the detector, principally, it has a hardware connectors. Uh, it can be connected to the Hello World alarm system, and so actually is a Hello World detectors, but it use a connector to the use a cable to connect the solar panel. So uh, inside the solar panel has a wireless uh, radio communication module. So. Now I'm gonna plug the solar panel, connect the solar panel to the, the receiver. After I connect them, the for the receiver will be powered up. And the next, I'm going to show you how to add the wireless for the electric beam sensor to the wireless alarm system. Uh, because the because the wireless for the electric beam sensor cannot work stand alone. So here I have a wireless alarm panel on the ground. And uh, the next, I'm going to running the wiring up. Uh, here is the device, and now I'm going to arm it so to check if I can control it while my smartphone. Uh, the next step, we go to set and uh, zoom setting 
Now we scroll down to choose the zone number, uh, which zone number we want, want the sensor to be added. Then we tap study. Now the alarm panel enters programming status and I'm going to disconnect the receiver and connect it again to provide power supply to, to power the, for the electrical, electronic beam sensor. Now after I power the electrical beam sensor, the beam sensor will emit wireless signal so to, for the programming. Now it shows me programming successful. Uh, now exist, I exit and go to a game. So now I'm going to arm the alarm system. Um, I'm going to check if I have successfully added the photo electrical beam sensor to the Wyson alarm panel. Wyson is X10. So now disconnect it. So connect it again because I want to check if I have. So here you can see. So next, I'm going to arm it again. I'm also connect uh, and uh, play them together and try to block the infrared beam with the package box. Now it's ready, and uh, I'm gonna use my smartphone to arm the alarm system. Now this is the next. I'm going to block the infrared rays by using package box. Now I'm use the packing box, place, put it between the transmitter and receiver. Now alarm is triggered. Alarm is triggered. So I can receive the push notification and uh, that's it. So it's a quite good security alarm system for parameter solution.